drainage drainage refers to the river system of an area drainage refers to river system of an area drainage is generally refers to the river system of an area which includes as a tributaries which are the smaller streams of water and the river main river so those smaller streams of river which join together falls in a larger larger water body larger stream is known as the tributaries when smaller streams of smaller streams of smaller streams of water bodies smaller streams of streams which is as a continuously flows when we use generally as only the water body water body it may be as a pond lake sea ocean anybody so streams are continuously flow according to the slope of a region when the smaller streams join together in a larger stream is known as the tributaries is known as tributaries smaller streams of water join together join together which comes from a different directions when smaller streams of water comes from different directions comes from different directions which join together join together to form a larger stream is known as the tributaries to form the larger streams known as the tributaries tributaries are the smaller streams of water which join together to forms the larger stream named as a river larger stream as a river is known as the they are known as the tributaries they are known as the tributaries the region region or a area particular area which is drained by the single river the area or a region which is drained by a river is known as drainage basin it is known as drainage basin area drained by a river is known as area drained by river is known as river basin or drainage basin for example when ganga originates from uttarakhand it enters in plains enters in plains through the haridwar it drains the it flow through the uttar pradesh bihar west bengal uttar pradesh bihar west bengal these state three states are categorized under the drainage basin of drainage basin of ganga clear is that clear drainage basin of ganga drainage basin of river drainage basin of ganga till there any questions till there any questions so when different number of streams they are commonly comes from a different directions joins the main river joins the main river these smaller streams are known as the tributaries example ganga having their numerous number of tributaries like yamuna ghaggar gandak son kein son kein yamuna kosi damodar all these are the tributaries of ganga which are coming from a different directions and joins the ganga at its course at its course same as indus river joined by the different number of tributaries like satluj ravi byas chinab jhelum chonk nubra jaskar these number of tributaries collectively joins the 
Indus. These are the tributaries of Indus River. Tributaries of Indus River. Till there any questions? If the when these number of a smaller streams coming from a different directions, different directions, they follow as the they follow the gradient of a region, slope of a region, slope of a region. On a map showing on your screens, map showing on your screens indicates such number of uh, streams which are originates from a different sources flows in a different directions. It's generally as it happens due to as a slope of a region. Slope of a region. Slope of a region followed by the smaller streams and the bigger streams according to which they are flowing towards the low lined areas. They start to flow towards the low lined areas. Low lined such areas which are the equivalent height of a sea level. When they are reaching at a level of a sea, mean sea level which is equivalent in all over the world. So rivers are moving according to the slope of a region in downwards, downward flow, downward flow. So under such circumstances, river carve the different patterns. When river starts to flow, according to the slope of a region, it makes the different patterns, different patterns. Drainage of an area, drainage of an area is concerned with the study of main river, study of main river with its smaller streams, with its smaller streams in respect to, in respect to their size, their number, direction of flow, direction of flow, drainage basin, slope of a region is known as drainage pattern. When river, when river, main river and its tributaries, and its tributaries means the smaller streams, smaller streams are flow in respect to their, respect to their size, number, direction of flow, direction of flow, direction of flow, drainage basin, drainage basin, slope of a region, slope of a region means gradient, slope of a region, volume of water, volume of water, and nature of, nature of rocks, which directly influence the different drainage patterns, different drainage patterns, different drainage patterns. First, trellis, trellis or rectangular, it is as resemblance to the rectangular pattern, rectangular pattern in which the stream, main stream means a river, it joins by their main stream joined by the different number of tributaries almost at a right angles, right angles, right angles is known as the trellis pattern. In trellis pattern, such gaps, these are the hard rocks which are not eroded by the river and its tributaries in its course, in its course, 
in its course such pattern is known as the trellis pattern in this pattern the tributaries can be seen tributaries can be seen meeting the main river at right angles <coughs> meeting the main river <coughs> at right angles meeting at right angles this pattern carved by the river this pattern developed by the river and its tributaries river and its tributaries river and its tributaries when they starts to flow they starts to flow in rocky surfaces of plateau region rocky surfaces of plateau region which consist hard and soft rocks which consist hard and soft rocks softer rocks are easily eroded by their streams which finally submerge in a larger sea at a right angles and the remaining hard rocks as such present hard rocks as such present in between of the tributaries in between of tributaries this is known as the trellis pattern clear this is known as the trellis pattern this is known as the trellis pattern clear any doubts still there till there any questions next as the dendritic pattern dendritic pattern dendritic pattern dendritic pattern is resemblance to the tree shaped tree shaped in which the different number of streams of a streams of river comes through the different directions which joins the main river which joins the main river dendritic pattern or tree shaped pattern tree shaped pattern is the most common and widespread pattern to be found on the to be found on the found on the earth surface in this pattern the tributaries come from different directions tributaries comes from different directions different directions to meet the main river meet the main river like the branches of tree branches of tree the small streams meet larger small streams meet larger one and the larger streams joins the main river joins the main river when they flow according to the slope of a region they flow slow according to the slope of a region they flow according to the slope of a region example on your screens betwa and chambal betwa and chambal betwa and chambal both join together both joins the yamuna afterwards the yamuna joins the yamuna joins the ganga chambal joins the yamuna near the mathura betwa joins the yamuna near the lucknow and finally as the yamuna joins the 
Ganga at Allahabad, which is now as known as the Prayagraj. Allahabad known as a Prayagraj. Yamuna joins the Ganga. Ganga is a resemblance to the tree-shaped pattern. Resemblance to the tree-shaped pattern in which the different streams, different streams, Chambal and Betwa comes from the southwest of a country. It finally as it joins the Yamuna, then Yamuna crossed the 310 kilometers long distance, finally joins the Ganga at Allahabad. Clear? Example clear? Till there any questions? Till there any questions? Yes. Any questions? Next is a parallel pattern. Parallel pattern. Parallel pattern. Parallel. When different streams of a river flow parallel to each other, parallel to each other and neither meet and neither meet with each other. Parallel drainage pattern comprises numerous rivers, numerous streams which are parallel, which are parallel to each other, parallel to each other and Follow the regional slope. Follow the regional slope. Follow the regional slope. This pattern is developed on uniformly slope regions, uniformly slope areas such as coastal regions. When the re river reaches at its coast, river reaches at its coast, C-O-A-S-T, coast, at that time, the mean sea level and the level of a river water, it remains as a similar, remains as a similar. Both are as equivalent in a coastal regions coastal regions, equivalent at its coastal regions. Under such circumstances, under such circumstances, river flow parallel to each other. Chambal joins the Yamuna. It's best example as a Narmada and Tapi. When we see the Narmada and Tapi, Narmada and Tapi rivers, both are parallel to each other. Both are Yes, Narmada and Tapi flow parallel to each other. They flow parallel to each other. Narmada and Tapi, they neither meet. The reason behind as a movement of these two rivers as the parallel to each other as the existence of a Satpura. Due to as the existence of a Satpura hills, which makes as a water divide in between of a Narada and Tapi, they can't join each other. These two rivers can't join with each other. Join with each other. Those who consider that, those who consider that the Chambal and Yamuna are the parallel, you can look towards them. Chambal and Yamuna, are they looks like as a parallel to each other? At some of the extent, we can say as a Yamuna, Yamuna and Ganga are parallel to each other. Parallel to each other. But finally, after crossing the some distance, they both are meets. 
but in a parts of a north western parts of a uttar pradesh both the rivers are flow parallel to each other clear jab ji clear next till there any questions till there any questions those who want to ask question first of all click to your video cameras click to your video cameras next next pattern as the radial pattern radial pattern radial pattern which is also known as a popularly known as a centrifugal pattern radial pattern radial or centrifugal pattern centrifugal pattern centrifugal pattern in this type of a drainage pattern a number of a streams streams which are originates from a common center diverge in a different directions diverge in a different directions diverge in different directions the radial drainage pattern also known as a centrifugal pattern which is formed by the streams which is formed by the streams diverge from a central higher point central higher point in all directions in all directions all directions in this type of a drainage the streams flow in different directions streams flow in different directions different directions from a central peak from a central peak comma from a central peak comma it may be a lake or dome like structure dome like structure dome like structure it has generally occur when source of a rivers source of rivers source of rivers is located at a high altitudes located at a high altitudes mansarovar located at a tibet of kalash in upper himalayas of himalayan mountains which is as a source of a source of it is as the source of three rivers first indus move its northwest second satluj move its south east third brahmaputra which is popularly known as a sangpo in a chinese part brahmaputra and its east brahmaputra at its east these three rivers these three rivers are originate from these three rivers are originate from the mansarovar i am again repeating as a indus move towards the northwest satluj move towards the southeast brahmaputra flows towards the east of a country three streams are originate from a common center of a mansarovar lake in tibet mansarovar lake in tibet these three streams commonly originate from the mansarovar lake in tibet clear mansarovar lake in tibet next next is the next is the centripetal pattern 
सेंट्रीपीटल पैटर्न सेंट्रीपीटल पैटर्न इन विच डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ अम्स कमिंग टू द डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन मूव टूवर्ड्स द कॉमन सेंटर मूव टूवर्ड्स द कॉमन सेंटर सेंट्रीपीटल पैटर्न सेंट्रीपीटल पैटर्न सेंट्रीपीटल पैटर्न डिवेलप बाय रिवर एंड इट्स ट्रिब्यूटीज रिवर एंड इट्स ट्रिब्यूटीज वेन डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ स्मॉलर स्ट्रीम्स कम्स टू द डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन कम्स टू डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन different directions towards common center it is generally developing in centripetal pattern develop in centripetal pattern develop in low lined areas low lined areas low lined areas of mountain hills low land is a that part of a mountains which has the valley region in between of a number of a mountain peaks are there a large number of a four five mountain peaks are there in between of a such mountain peaks the depressed areas the low land areas depressions such depressions are filled with such depressions are filled with accumulation of water accumulation of water accumulation of collection of water flow through slopes of mountains flow through slopes of mountains towards central parts towards central parts example wuller lake in jammu and kashmir Vulla in Jammu and Kashmir, Vulla Lake in Jammu and Kashmir, which came into existence with flow of water melted from snow. Water melted from snow fall in a upper and a middle Himalayas, upper and middle Himalayas, which accumulated in a. low lined areas which now presently known as a vulla lake vulla lake and dal lake in jammu and kashmir w u l a r vulla and dal lake in jammu and kashmir clear so these are the major patterns the drainage patterns carved by the river in its course factors which are affecting as the drainage patterns are factors affecting the drainage pattern are factors responsible for the development of drainage patterns are first first types of rocks nature of rocks if the rocks are the softer it will be as a more eroded by the streams river and its streams will erode the streams will erode the softer rocks as easier comparatively the hard rocks second second volume of water volume of water if the volume of water is a more under such circumstances river will cut their sides if sides of the in course in course of a river if the river if the water present in a river is a lesser volume of water is a lesser under such circumstances the river will basically engage in a deep bed erosion deep bed erosion in higher altitudes broader valleys in a plains broader valleys in plains next slope of a region next factor affecting the development of a drainage patterns slope of a region or gradient slope of a region or gradient next fourth source of water 
source of water source of water if the source of water for the river is the glaciated regions which will be as a giving the water throughout the year throughout the year but as compared to this if the river having the source of water as a rain rain during as a rainy season large volume of water increase in a river highly influenced as a erosional verb clear erosional verb so this much for today any questions any questions 9c 